10 clean, fresh, mass appealing summer fragrances. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're first time here, my name is Mehdi. I'm talking about fragrances. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notifications by my new uploads. Let's see the fragrances. Let's just start today's video by Ferrari Bright Neroli. Price of this fragrance is around 20 bucks maximum. For 100 ml, it is soapy, floral, and a slightly metallic smelling type of fragrance. For this price, for 20 bucks, scent of the fragrance is pretty good, I can say. Scent profile of the fragrance is mostly in the floral sides, like the name Bright Neroli. White flowers I can get then this fragrance after that green notes and the slightly citrusy notes. Perfectly unisex. 50-50. I can say both tenders can use this fragrance without any problem. Performance is below average by this one. 3-4 hours. In terms of longevity, you can apply it during the day countless. It is a cheap fragrance. I cannot say to you that because of price tag, because it is very cheap, you cannot expect then this fragrance more than 3-4 hours. We have a lots of beast mode fragrances in this price tag. But this one is not like the other fragrances, cheapy fragrances, a beast mode fragrance. It is very soft, polite and soapy. Next one is from House of Amouage. Amouage Diamond. This is a citrusy, green, soapy, oriental, spicy, woody and incense fragrance. Incense is very soft, not that much offensive type of incense. It is a must have in Amouage DNA, incense note. So very complex fragrance. In the brief I can say Main atmosphere of the fragrance is citrusy and soapy. I can say the most luxury soapy fragrance that I've ever smelled in entire my life. It is soapy but like a soap for kings. It retails around $200-$250. dollars You can find it on these counters around $200 bucks for 100 ml. Performance is average to below average, exactly like a bar of soap. It is not a great performer, but if you are into luxury, soapy, outstanding type of fragrances, I can suggest this one to you. Next fragrance is Mugler Cologne. Exactly like the bottle, scent of the fragrance is green and light, not that much heavy on the green notes. Smells also soapy, exactly like soap, but imagine this one and a much diamond. Compared to that fragrance, this one is not that luxury, expensive smelling type of soap. It is very cheap hand soap smelling type of fragrance. It is also a unisex fragrance like Ferrari Bright Neroli. It's on the clothing, will not change that much. It will stay there 5-6 hours maximum by average to below average projection and sillage, soapy projection and sillage. On the skin will change a bit. It is not like on the clothing. It is non-linear on the skin. will change to smooth, woody, wetty berry type of fragrance. On the clothing will stay unisex. On the skin will stay a bit or will change a bit more masculine, I can say. This is also a cheap fragrance, 100 ml, 30, 40 bucks maximum. You can find 300 ml around 70 bucks. Way more cheaper compared to this one. Reminds me of Creed Original Vetiver. Compared to that fragrance, this one is slightly less vetiver, more floral. That one is a bit heavier on the vetiver. Miguel Cologne. Let's continue by House of Guerlain. Loam Ideal Cologne. It is a mature, not that much modern smelling type of fragrance. Scent profile is sweet, citrusy at the opening. Almost I can say gourmand citrusy. Reminds me of honey, honeycomb plus citruses. Like added sweetness here, not like natural sweetness in the citruses. After first hour fragrance comes out of that gourmand territory atmosphere and turns to shower jelly type of scent profile. A bit wetty, very citrusy by less sweetness compared to opening performances. Okay, average, below average somehow for five hours in terms of longevity by first hour. Very soft, airy projection and sillage. Very great for extremely hot summer days. But when I apply it on inner elbows, will last on me like eight, ten hours. So I suggest you apply this fragrance on your inner elbows. Next fragrance is from House of Carbon. Low intense. This is a green citrusy. An aquatic fragrance by dominated green notes like 80%. This is when I say citrusy, this is not like 50% or other summer fragrances out there. At the first half an hour, it smells like toothpaste on my skin. After that, will turn to green and powdery type of fragrance. At the opening and dry down, it smells green, but at the opening is mostly minty. At the dry down, is lavender minty. Lavender will shine better at the dry down. It is very green, mature, and 
Powdery, slightly smelling type of fragrance by very great longevity. It is easily 10 hours plus on the skin by first hour. Average soft green projection and CH. Now we are at sub 5. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe. It helps me a lot. And if you enjoyed the video, I hope you did. Give it a thumbs up. It means a lot for me. Thank you so much. Now we have here at number 5 spot Insurrection Pure 2. This is my very first Aventus cologne. Such a great memories by this fragrance. Scent profile is citrusy and woody very well balanced type of fragrance you have sour citrusiness plus some aquatic slightly drops of aquatic notes at the top by woody smoky dryden scent profile of this fragrance is very great close to creed aventus i cannot say the best cologne of creed aventus but i can say one of the best about performance i cannot say the same things it is not that much great in terms of performance i can get by this one three four hours maximum mostly two hours but at first hour this fragrance is one of my most complimented fragrances in the entire collection a bit if i want to talk professional this is like well balanced batches of aventus if you are into fruity and smoky batches of aventus in the same time at the same level this fragrance is absolutely for you next fragrance is from house of yves saint laurent why of fresh this is 2020 release Scent of this fragrance is also fresh, aquatic, and slightly earthy. I can say mostly in the gingery side, a bit citruses, aquatic notes, and rooty notes. I cannot catch or find these rooty notes easily in other fragrances. This rooty vibe makes this fragrance to stand out compared to a lot of other freshy summer fragrances out there. For a citrusy, frosted, eau de cologne type of fragrance, performance is good in my opinion. For five hours, is pretty good i have more sweet concentrated fragrances which cannot last as great as this one so for five hours is good but projection is not as great as longevity in this fragrance is very soft airy and poor somehow for one hour maximum which makes this fragrance a great option for extremely hot summer days let's continue by a very great fragrance from house of dior dior Om cologne i believe this is one of the best citrusy fragrances in the designer game right now in the market so this is citrusy green and extremely clean you know what i like in this fragrance that's sour citrusy notes i have a lot of citrusy fragrances but i have not that much sour like this one natural sour smelling fragrances my mostly citrusy fragrances are sweet citrusy but this one is exactly like lime or bergamot into your face it is a very clean, bright, like the bottle, white, without being fancy a smelling type of fragrance. Accords are simple, smell citrusy, a bit green. That green note comes from orange blossom, but slightly smells like cypress a bit, between cypress and leafy, and very clean musk. So fragrance is simple, clean, and citrusy. About performance, it lasts actually, but projection is not that great. I can get by this one 5-6 hours maximum, I can say good 5 hours by very average to poor projection and CH. My issue by this fragrance is projection, lasting power is actually good. For this type of fragrance 5-6 hours is more than good but projection is below average for me. Next fragrance is very inoffensive and polite, Versace or fresh, exactly like this bottle it smells airy like pleasant air i can say by first impression if you ask them me what is the performance of the fragrance i would say 20 minutes in terms of longevity by five minutes projection but according to the compliments this fragrance lasts more than eight hours on me i had a mistake by this one i remember i always sprayed it like 10 12 14 sprays because i thought it will last longer like one two hours more but it was a mistake 10 hours man it was like headache don't over spray this fragrance Four spray is more than enough, you cannot smell it that much, but absolutely people around will smell this fragrance on you. About scent profile, it is very airy, soft, transparent, citrusy, green and aquatic fragrance by a slightly woodiness at the background. At the top of the list, at number one spot, without further ado, from House of Prada, Luna Rosa Carbon. In my opinion, this fragrance is highly inspired, Cologne of Dior Savage, it is not fair to say to this fragrance, a take. This almost copy paste by some little differences. I can say in the brief, if Dior Sauvage is a savage fragrance, this one is a tame and civilized version of that fragrance. 
I really enjoy both of these fragrances, Dior Sauvage and Carbon, but Dior Sauvage somehow can give me headaches, but this one is not like that, it is more friendly, inoffensive and less synthetic, more natural smelling compared to Dior Sauvage. I can say less concentrated, more watery, slightly aquatic, Dior Sauvage is absolutely is not an aquatic fragrance and slightly metallic notes in this fragrance is available which is not in the Dior Sauvage. Automatically, this fragrance will last you less compared to Dior Sauvage. Dior Sauvage is 10 to 12 hours plus easy on me, EDT version. This one is maximum 5 hours by very soft, airy projection and siege. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have any opinion, suggestion, question, let me know in the comments below. Stay safe. See you in another video.